I'm looking at the ugliest thing ever right now, just a Philadelphia Flyer jersey. Welcome back. Last man in episode you? 51. Looks like a, we, someone did not draw a P properly. Joke is on all of our fans because, you know, we didn't want to jinx it last week by saying it was episode 50. We didn't want to do that. We didn't want to do that to ourselves. So 51. That's what we'll and go with because camera doesn't really count. <laughs> I have to say it's fifty one this week. It's fifty one this Are we week. Sure? Fifty one, Bo Horvat. Guys, no, at least 53. I made it fifty episodes without missing one. At least 51 I made it. fifty one episodes. Yeah. At least I did it. Yeah. Well, you, you can still it. call in. That call in count. Out. Even emails count. Emails. You know what you should do what oh I did. Oh my god! Do. Yes, I'm going to do that so badly. Just at the end. Tales of from. Well, tell them why from... we're talking about okay. this. Okay. So some bad news. Uh, my work. Um, I'm not going to say who. Wherever you work. Is now transferring me to a new location. So, everyone who knows who I am will clearly know what I'm talking about, but... He works for the Taliban. He's a slave to the machine. Yes. Exactly. The Taliban machine. <laughs> the man has Evil. got him down. <laughs> the man has got him down. Yeah. So, it works transfer me. So, unfortunately, I won't be live here every week, so you won't have to listen to this <coughs> beautiful voice. Man, I sound cooler over the phone, by the way. On the recording, when I call oh, yeah. from Kelowna, yeah, yeah. I sound way cooler so, than in person. Cam home field report. The goal, the goal is still. <laughs> these guys are going to text me. I'm going to probably call in. Long distance calls, charging going to kill me. So we're going to FaceTime. You don't have a Team Canada or a Team Can, a Canadian like not. It's not crossing a border. So I am. I'm crossing the Manitoba Ontario. Still border. Yeah, but in, it's not like American border. So no, it's still, still long distance. Long distance. So. Really? Yeah. Oh, I guess I just have that in my plan. That's why. Yeah, yeah. FaceTime. That's free. I'll FaceTime. I'll FaceTime you guys, and I'll be like, hi. And you guys, it'll be like I'm here, but I'm not really here. Exactly. Yeah, it'll be beautiful. For an hour. Yeah. I'll, I'll no block off time. So there'll be times where I won't. In the times that I'm not there, I'll just send Tales from Kenora. Yeah. And do that. Yeah, that'll be a weekly thing. Tales from Kenora. Yeah, from either I'm either calling live in. Or written. Exactly. Perfect. Why, why do I feel like Greg's going to come back like two years from now and have this like big bushy beard and be like, ugh. Guys, you mean no guys, for two guys <laughs> this is a week. No, this is two weeks. Greg's pointing at his face. Actually, you know what? Greg does have a little more facial hair. There's like, like 12 chin hairs. When I first met Greg, he couldn't grow anything. And then about two years ago, I could count maybe five. But now he's got probably around 100. He's yeah. He's getting there. Progress. You're getting, you're getting like the chin strap there. Yeah. This is rough. Like, this is disgusting. Your beard is just My beard gross. is at 104 days. It's it's gross now. It gets you know what's past. bad? You know what's bad? We still have yet to take a podcast picture. You know what I was thinking about that the other day because we needed. We promised that we would have a podcast picture within the first two weeks. We wanted we first two months. We were going to send Christmas greeting cards to people. We never did it. No, this year we will. We have to. We, we have, have to, to send one to uh, Shane to Nick. Who's Shane? Shane in Minnesota. That's not his name. Sh- Is it Shane? Brett? No, Brett, Brett Doan. Yeah, Brett Doan. Like, Why did I think it's Shane? Oh Shane God. Doan. That's not for you, guy. You can't give me that one. That's why. I'm not giving you Brett, anything. Hey, we got Nick shit. in Connecticut. And uh, yeah, and I like how Greg conveniently, conveniently is leaving us to go wherever he's going. I Len- said Kenora. Okay, so, sorry. Nice. Yeah, my brain's <laughs> out of it. Right. Okay. To go to Kenora conveniently as he has to break down three teams. And hey, then do t- I'll, you, I'll do, phone you it in. Do you want to do the Toronto I'm, one? No, you I'll do phone, Toronto one. I'm phoning in. You're phoning in the yeah, breakdown? I'm no, we can give, I told Stephanie he could do some of them too, so that's fine. Yeah, Stefan's not here this week. No, his, no, I, his I'm I'm worried about the health of this podcast when I'm gone because Dan's school schedule is rough during the year. No, we actually talked about it already. And me, Dan, and Stefan are already on task. Don't worry. Oh, it's really? gonna be Tuesdays or Wednesdays. You know what I find funny? Oh, great, great. So even I, I can't when even you come leave, in. we get schedules. You'd fuck you no, guys. no. If you're coming into town, we'll make yeah. sure you're on it. That's but that, fine. I can only do Saturdays and Sundays. No, well, then Friday we'll do it on a Saturday and fine. Sunday, okay. and then we'll just push it to like a Thursday, and then we'll be back on the following. And week. if you do it on a weekend when I'm not here, I'll call in. No, you don't get a call in. Not Only bad. special people do. No, Dan's going to give us a key to his house, and me and Stefan will just be, yeah, so loud <laughs> yeah. Dan. Hey, Dan, we're trying to find the crackers. Where are they in your house? You don't touch my crackers. <laughs> you don't touch it? my wheat fins. Why is there a bunch of white powdery stuff in the cupboard? <laughs> don't touch it. Don't touch it. <laughs> There's a lot more than normal. There's, I know. Don't sneeze. There's just traps everywhere. Yeah. Don't Kay. sneeze. So, hockey, we got lots. Not, not no, a lion. There's, there's not a lot no, to talk about. We have a good tra- just, I just have a signings, few good ones. Um, some other stuff to talk about. Um, I don't know. Maybe you can tell us kind of more what we'll be talking about. Cause I love the I Jets. I zero research. Cam's got some notes. He has literally dash, Jets, Jets nothing. nothing. And then, moose, nothing. Droppings, nothing. <laughs> moose droppings, nothing. Moose droppings, nothing. But that's because they didn't really do anything. So, But I still anything. write all, like, even on my net, on the next page, I write it out even if it doesn't, so I follow Guys, the next one. You but, know what? You know what's exciting? 
Cam yeah. has gone through an entire 80-page notebook for Last Man in Podcast. Yeah, and it only started in January. No, February 11th. The first one. Episode 29. So we are now here. Episode 51. Yeah, we got good for there. you. The whole 20. Yeah. If you're just later. tuning in this is your first time listening to us, we're sorry. It's summertime. What do you expect? We don't really? talk sports. No. Well, hey, if you want to talk about sports, we can talk about the Troy Pulowitzki trade to the Bougeries. What you, okay, yeah. You know what? We'll go off topic here. Who is this guy? Troy Tulowitzki? Yeah, too low. Too low. Too low. He was a character He's in Breaking Bad. shortstop. Okay. Tuco was the character no, in Breaking Bad. No, it's too low. It was but Tuco. That's fine. No, nope, too low, but whatever. I digress. I've watched it about four times. Never seen okay. it. Tuco. Okay. Okay, it's And Tuco. he's also in Better Call Saul. Oh, yeah. Tulo Salamanca. Tuco Salamanca. Tulo Salamanca. Go fuck yourself. <laughs> Anyways, go ahead. <laughs> um... <laughs> No, so, yeah, the Jays decided they needed... I think we talked about this last week, how the Jays needed pitching. They went out and got a solid defensive shortstop who's a really good hitter. So they're but, still trying to out-hit their bad pitching problems? Exactly. <laughs> you guys, they're we're try- going to need more hits. They're that's hit. like... No, more. that's like... are going to it. No, that's like Philadelphia saying, fuck it, we don't need D. We'll go get Phil Kessel and... Patrick Sharp. You Boom. just said the guy was a good defensive stalwart. You're not getting Kessel if you know. Oh, just outscoring. Yeah. Yeah. Just outscoring yeah. an opponent. We don't need any of that other shit. We just no. need strong forwards. Yeah. We'll win every game 9 8. Exactly. <laughs> Be so proud of it. Wins a win. All right. Oh, yeah. So basically. Speaking of that. Yeah, sorry. go ahead. No, do it. Where is Ilya Brizgalov? Can we, like, have a segment of where in the world is Ilya Brizgalov? You, like, universe! <laughs> universe! It's humongous big. <laughs> so big. We should audio audio clip in like humongous big. These are puppy and beautiful like Russian women. Big puppy. What <laughs> are you talking about? What? You guys never saw? No. And then like twenty four seven. We talked about the universe. Is great. It's like well, the universe what? is so. No, I never saw it. So and then like big. it shows Wayne Simmons just sitting there and he's <laughs> like, like hey, what are your thoughts about the penguin? These are. <laughs> I don't like them. They don't like us. <laughs> no, much just to say. <laughs> yeah, they have a winter classic against each other yet? No. Nope. Philly and Pittsburgh? Yeah. Uh, no, but I heard rumblings only on Reddit flyers, so I mean the fans are nuts. I'm one of them. Uh, <laughs> but have grown anyways, a beard for 114 days. 105 so. days, it'll be 111. I'll take a picture and actually post it. Actually, uh, that's a promise. I you know what I'm break. disappointed about? Is Cam stopped those like daily posts? No, you know what Beer happened? Pictures where he, he went on the ex- road. No. He got the exact... Yeah. No, Same that was only for facial. playoffs. Yeah. Sure. Okay. I only did it for playoffs, but then I went on tour, and then I started. I I did them, and I had them every day. But then I got a new, f- or I, oh, I got my phone. phone, and it broke. And then I had to reset it, or I had to back it up. But I had to back it up from the last reset, so I lost like thirty days with the pictures, and then I just didn't ah, restart. Piss. Yeah. That's but yeah, nice. I did get. I I lined it up perfectly. Yeah, every you time. have it every time. Every yeah, time. but uh, ta- wait. To what were you talking about? Ilya Brzezgalov. Oh Bruce. yeah, it's rumored. Yeah. That uh, Pittsburgh really and Philadelphia are going to play in Philadelphia at uh, what do the Eagles play? Lincoln something. Lincoln right. Financial, Financial Field. Financial Lincoln Financial, Financial Field, Field, Financial Field yeah. uh, next year for the Winter Classic. But I'm, I'm not against it. But. I want Who's it. the Winter Classic this year? Is it Colorado Benet? No, it's uh, Boston, Montreal, Boston, Montreal. Gillette Stadium. Did I not? That'll be... That'll be a good one. Yeah. Well, did you guys hear about Minnesota? No. Minnesota, Colorado, you know how right? Winnipeg dropped out? Yeah. Well, when, uh, Minnesota actually got offered to play... Um, uh, who played in it this year? One of the teams that played in it this year, Minnesota got offered to play Chicago? in it... Chicago? No, no. They, they oh. chose Chicago. They're playing Chicago... They, uh, I Detroit's they playing, playing Colorado. Detroit's Colorado. playing Colorado. Oh, Detroit's playing yeah. Colorado. Minnesota's because playing Because Minnesota Chicago. got first pick. And so they said, no, we want Chicago. And so they're playing at TCF Bank Stadium. Oh, okay. But they were supposed to play. They got offered a stadium series instead of the Jets for last season. But they uh, declined the opponent. So they said, can we have it this year? And they said, yeah, no problem. So and it was kind of like, you rub my back, I'll rub yours. That's like, do you guys remember... Um, when the Wings played in the uh, in the East bef- or before going to the West beforehand, I think it was 79-80 season. Have you guys uh, seen those conferences? No. L.A. and Detroit were in the same division. Because L.A., when they first joined in, there was no- think about all those teams. There weren't, yeah. They weren't there. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, so that's pretty nice. the same division. Yeah, same division. It was so weird. Have you guys... Oh, were you the cool. one telling me this? What's that? With... If Quebec comes into the NHL, the new realignment. They're of all thinking the about doing an all Canadian division. Talk about it. Let's talk about it. We have we have an outlet to talk about sports. Let's we do. do it. Well, do you remember I, it? Jesus. 
I do remember it. Yeah, okay. yeah. Okay, so what were the divisions? So there was four of them? It was the Canadian them? one, and then yeah. it was um, it was all the California with Las Vegas. So okay. that was four. And then it was um, uh, the central one, so it would be Phoenix, Denver, Arizona, Arizona. Phoenix, no, Denver, Arizona. No, not Phoenix. There's just Arizona. Oh, Arizona. Gonna have they they can't support two teams there. They can't even support That's one. That's the solution. <laughs> I was talking to... That's it! What's Great that? Two contra- teams! Two teams! Great competition. We figured it out. <laughs> Glendale gets a team. <laughs> Tempe gets a team. Your move, Arizona. Your move. <laughs> Messy Arizona, okay? They're serious here. Yeah. Just all the teams. It's just Arizona State University. But they, they joined the NHL. Why? Yeah. They're just as good as the Coyotes. That's why. Ooh. Ooh. Except the Coyotes have prospects, unlike New Jersey. Yeah, oh, God. New Jersey's <laughs> horrendous. I don't know what's happening there. It's so scary. Just well, Carolina Western. doesn't have cro- prospects either. They're all playing for them already. Yeah. That's, oh, mom. that's not but, the solution. Okay, so um, the other team. So it's Canadian. So that would be all eight, eight. Canadian teams. All eight were in, and then it just can- Canada all West, the Canada East. Oh, okay. Because, uh, and then... Uh, there was we would four, dominate there that. There was I'm four just, and four. It'd be Canada I'll, West. No, no, no. It'd be Canada we, West, Canada East. So like two separate. Winnipeg, so Winnipeg would be West. And Winnipeg then everyone, would dominate so that. So we'd Ottawa, be the best Quebec, team in Montreal, that division. Ottawa, Quebec, Montreal. For now. For now. Until, Toronto. Ottawa, until Edmonton gets good again. No, you guys, I'm telling you. I'm ser- I'm going on record. I've, I have to go on record every podcast. That is... Um, I, guys, Cam has a bacon hat. It's really awesome. Yeah. Isn't it sweet? Okay, while you go, go off topic, I'll stay on topic. Um... I'm going on record. Edmonton's going to have pl- a plus plus thirty this year of uh, points. points. I think they will have plus thirty. They're, okay. I think Edmonton How and many Cavs, last year. Uh, ninety-two minus thirty is what? Sixty-two. That's how many they. Okay, let's let's. So they still won't make. The let's play. go first. Plus, plus thirty let's, is a great. Season. Let's bring oh, it back. Great. Let's bring it back. Yes. So the new divisions would be Canada West, Canada East. So then we'd have and it then, would be four divisions of six or six. Sorry. Six yeah, eight divisions, divisions of four. Eight, eight divisions, divisions of four. four. Yeah. So then your central is what Arizona, Colorado, Chicago, no. St. Louis. So it'd be like, so. and then it'd so be, it'd be like what NFL. Minnesota, Detro- Minnesota, Detroit, Detroit Nashville, Nashville, Columbus. So it'd be Nashville, like the Columbus. NFL. Yeah, because they have eight of four, right? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. yeah. And then it'd be um, it was Philly, Washington, Pittsburgh, and uh, uh, not the uh, the Rangers and the Islanders were together in the other one. Who else is in there? Would it be Pittsburgh and New Jersey? Uh, New Jersey. Oh, be, Jersey. Yeah. Jersey. Jersey. Yeah. Is. So it'd be Pittsburgh, then, Philly, Jersey. Wouldn't be four teams though. Yeah. No. No. It'd be. It was or, four. That's five. Pittsburgh. New Jersey. If Pittsburgh. you're putting the both New York teams, New Jersey. No. No. New York oh, okay. and then we're on their own. Who's oh, okay. that? Okay. So it's probably Pittsburgh, Philly, Washington, New yeah, Jersey. Yeah. That, that's what it was. And then oh, okay. the remaining four would be the Islanders, Blue, the Rangers. Blue no, Blue, no. No. Blue Jackets already there. Are in oh. Different. Uh, Florida and Tampa. Florida, Tampa, I think. That's a different, that's a weird. Maybe. Oh, but then you have to think. Team. No, there's no, Carolina. Southern there's Carolina. Yeah. There'd be Carolina. It's probably Carolina, Washington. This is what it is. Okay. It's probably Carolina, Washington. Um, Carolina, Washington. Florida, Tampa. Florida, Tampa. <laughs> Then <laughs> <That's a match. laughs> any of those teams will take that matchup. I don't care who it is. The, old the Flyers East. might even win a game against them. Just like who cares? Division champ, God, piss it. We finished fourth. We'll take you on. Come here, touch. I'll get some whiz with it. Sorry. So then you have Quebec, Toronto. So then Quebec, Buffalo, Toronto, Ottawa, and Quebec, uh, Toronto, Montreal. Buffalo, Mont- uh, Montreal. So then you have Buffalo, Boston, Boston. New York, New York. Yeah, there you go. Then New Jersey, Philadelphia, Pittsburgh, and... Washington? Nope, we already said Washington. Carolina. Nope, why did you say Carolina? Columbus. Sh- um, no, not Columbus. Do we miss Chicago? I think we miss Chicago. I think Columbus... I think it's Minnesota, Chicago... Oh, no. Minnesota, Chicago, Detroit. Yeah, oh, we missed Dallas. Dallas. That's who we missed. There you go, and that's why it's so offset. So that's okay. why it's offset. Because okay. it's... Yeah. So then Columbus is in the same division yes. with those teams. Okay. Yeah. Or Detroit is. Yes. One of the two. Yeah. Either Columbus they, or Either Detroit. way, four divisions of... So would the playoffs eight be divisions NFL of four. style? Like the top... Yeah. They, they, like top... Top two. Top two would probably it, make each division. There'd be three division. wild cards on no, each like, side. Oh. Three wild cards yeah. on each well, side. Well, because it, it'd be the top four on each side. Like whoever wins each div- each division. Why would they have three? Wouldn't it be four wild cards? And then there'd be... Oh, yeah. And then there'd be four, four. No, wild cards. No, because you make... Well, the, the way the NFL is, there's like the four division on each yeah. side. Oh, and then the top two. The first two get buys. And yeah. then there's the two wild cards play the bottom two. 
Yeah, they wouldn't do that. They wouldn't give teams buys. That would give them way too much of an yeah. advantage in hockey. Hey, you know what? It's different in football because they can do it in football, but hockey, you just can't do it. Because it's one You know off. what? You're giving yeah. a guy an Winnipeg extra Winnipeg would make the playoffs like every year in that division, so I'm okay with that. Do Really? Though? Okay, well, Who Vancouver... Is, Vancouver Calgary is a, and Edmonton are on the up and up, yeah. and this is going to come in in three to four years but when so you got the Jets. McJesus. So are the Jets. By the way, Connor um, Crosby won his cup. He went to the cup final in his fourth year, yeah. won it in his fifth year. So just think about it that way. If you're coming you know in, what? these guys are going to be good, man. But every year, Edmonton, this is their year. They're on the up. Yeah, no, I and know. What but they didn't have they a Connor McDavid. So what? They have no defense still. I Eric Reib is mean, a great defenseman. I don't know what you're talking about. Hey, you it. know what? At least they didn't pay Jeff Petrie $4.2 million or whatever he got. That's money out. That's Montreal. I know. I said at least they didn't pay him that much. Oh, yeah, they close. spent it on two other guys for double the amount. Yeah, Nikita Nikita and Andre Shakira. That's true. Oh my God. Um, well, whatever. I'm not their man. guy. What was I? Thing? I was just thinking about something that I was going to ask you about. Yeah. Uh fuck. Yeah, this is language. What's... That's our. That's our. Bi- <laughs> that's uh, what I realized, uh, by the way, when we're, we're talking. Like before, you know how last week, how like we just did the rough start instead of like editing it. Man, I swear an awful lot. Do you like, remember the big normal... argument we had with Cam a year ago because he didn't yeah. want to swear? He did not want any swearing on this podcast. We yeah, might have were... told this story. And then while. I've already you told were pissed like... when we were yeah. saying, "Who cares?" I've already you told three or four people like on this podcast, like of prominence. I'm like, "Well, fuck you!" Like the <laughs> last two weeks ago, the head, the Dutch GM, I literally told him to fuck himself because he's too good at his job. <laughs> I'm the worst of all of us. Oh, yeah. go that, ahead. That's what I want to talk about. We, I don't know if we touched on it a lot last week about relocation, but I am still extremely against it. Cause there, relocation sim- or no, expansion? expansion? Expansion. Did I say relocation first? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay, I meant expansion. I'm right. awake, it's okay. I'm all for relocation. Yeah. I think the NHL should compress. I think they should... 28. To 28. Who are you closing? Okay, you got to close Arizona. Okay. Uh, and then... You gotta close Florida. Mm-hmm. Those are the Florida's two teams. Doing okay, though. No, they're really not. <laughs> they Did you see those? Attendance they don't draw fans. Last year? How much? Sure. Okay, they, for like, they said they had eleven thousand average per game, which but is here's eleven thousand paid. You know how many people were there? Yeah. About two. For me, uh, uh, coming out of business school, and I don't want to sound like I know everything because I don't. I'm not like I'm not that smart. Don't don't ever think for a second. Wait, wait. But I learned in school supply and demand. I don't know if you've ever heard of supply and demand. So supply goes one way, demand goes the opposite way. Okay. The goal is is to meet in the middle where supply and demand are at an equilibrium. So then you're not causing too much of a surplus or too much of a... Demand. De- yeah. Well, like, you don't want too much of a surplus supply of players, but you don't want to decrease demand for the sport. Oh, right? okay. Yeah. So yeah. by expanding even two teams, you're pushing that demand... Further, and that supply is getting depleted yeah, of you, good talent, right? Oh, but you have okay. to so, that. no, uh, just let me finish. Just, okay. If you move down from 30 to 28, certain guys will not be in the league. The Jim Slaters. The Chris Thorburns. The Chris Thorburns. Those guys no, he'll don't... he'll still be here. <laughs> you don't worry about that. Those guys don't make the threshold, because that's what happens. What does that mean? Better hockey, more exciting hockey, and the other thing it does... It makes the AHL a lot more of a prominent hockey league. Oh, okay. But you forget because, that. no, well, no. With the AHL thing. Yeah, I'm controlling this right now. It's my last one. Let me do it in peace. Um, I, I, The way I see it is the AHL can be a league that should be able to be marketed, and it's not, right? It's just not even there. No yeah. one talks about it, right? Yeah. Like, we're excited about it here, and I'm sure the other markets who get it, like when St. John's got their team, they were super pumped. But the thing is, it needs to, like, have something important about it. And the great thing is, is if we, inc- like, lower the amount of supply that's in the league for players, these younger guys, they won't hit the NHL as fast because there's so many older guys who've already earned their stripes there. So guys like William Elander, Nikolai Ehlers, uh, Leon Seidel, they won't make it their first years. They'll move in and they'll move up. Yes, it would mean the end of some other guys' hockey careers that can't make it past junior because there's less demand for those players because there's just less supply for it, right? Um, but that's the way I see it is we're going to push it so far that I think some of the excitement factor of what the NHL has built up is going to deplete. Trickle down yeah. to Because guys like... You guys Paul don't want to see Nick Antropov back in the NHL? <sighs> no! But no, no that's the first time. <laughs> that's seriously, like I was thinking about this at work because I do a ton of stuff at work. 
Um, sometimes when I have downtime, I just write possible lineups for the for different teams I cheer for. It's great. It's so much fun. Try. You know what? You know what the best part is? Try a lineup for New Jersey. Yeah, I, I can't do it. You know what the best part is? Wait. He gets paid to do that. Yeah, yeah, exactly. But you know, you know what you should try and do. This is not hockey. What? What? My question when I ask people what makes you a fan of the NFL? Name five players. I don't care if you name the superstar. Oh, yeah. One of them better be a lineman. An O-lineman or a D-lineman. But if you don't name a lineman, I walk away from you. you if you can't name a lineman, get out of my face. That's that. If you can name your O-line, bravo, you're an OG fan. See, the problem with me is Falcons have such a shitty O-line that they try to change it every year. Well, fine, name a D-lineman. They had John Abraham. They got rid there of him. There you go. The fact that you know that makes you a fan. They had John Abraham. Well, they, they also had Patrick Abraham. Kearney way back in the day, but he went to Seattle. Well, there you so, go. Yeah. But anyway, so you you make these possible lineups, but, and they'd be way deeper. They'd be amazing. Well, and that's the thing, is, is you look at it and you say, well, New Jersey kind of sucks right now, mm-hmm. but that team wouldn't be so shitty, because if you think about it, teams like Florida and Arizona are gone. Think of the players that are getting dispersed in that, right? Then I think, okay, we still need two new teams. We still cannot have these shitty markets like the Dallas's, the New Jersey's. Markets that just don't draw fans every game. You need more Winnipeg markets. So you got to move a team to Cl- Quebec. Who do you do it to? I don't know, but a team has to do it. You have to open it up instead of, re- uh, instead of expansion to relocation. And I think that I would rather see a 28 league, 28 team league, because there is one league that has 32 teams and makes it work and that's the NFL and that's the most profitable sports But why league. is it so profitable? Because ev- it's once a week. Boom, America. there you go. It's, it's once, once a, a week, week and it's been like that forever. And people can commit to it. It's so tough when you got 40 games a year. You look at the MLB and the NBA, both leagues more profitable than the NHL and they're not even contemplating expansion. Yeah. Maybe a little bit, but very, but very MLB, little. But MLB though, it's, you get like 81 yeah. home games. Exactly. It's like, it's a, oh, they're always empty, but it's like, yeah, but they sold the tickets already. So mm-hmm. it's not. I But exactly. the NFL, that's what I it love about the NFL good, is that it's like yeah. once a week. If you can't make time at your week for Everybody one, makes time for their yeah. for that one game And then week. it's like, well, they're like, yeah, there's games on Thursdays and Mondays. Yeah, once a week. Uh, some teams don't even get Monday nighters. Vikings always do because they also always get they to go. They get they beat up by the Packers once a year on Monday Night Football <laughs> or Sunday night. It happens. Yeah, yeah. but guess what? No, every it, team gets one. You have to keep in mind. You have to look at the nature of the game of football. Those guys can't play more than once a week. No, exactly. Of course. But, and you look at hockey, those guys can play three or four times a week. But no, my argument's just saying I is agree with the most things. profitable league in sport play has 32 teams and they make it work. NHL's nowhere it's near. It's also in America, the land of freedom. Yeah. So And bald eagles. And they shoot guns at the beginning of every game. So <laughs> they're like, yeah! America! Have you guys America! Seen- I saw a video of this guy. He was like, happy 4th of July. Oh, no. So I bought a lot of drones because I have a lot of money. And I'm going to shoot him out of the air because freedom. And he legit <laughs> shoots like $2,000 drones out of the air. Like, there's like 30 of them. Oh, man. <laughs> Just blows them out of the air. I'm not going to name the guy. But if you know I'm talking pretty about funny. it, you know exactly yeah, who he is. Funny. Um, but, okay, so basically what you're saying, okay, so you're closing Phoenix and Florida, Florida. and you're relocating Carolina and... Columbus, or... I like Columbus as okay. a revenue, but so, again... Uh, Dallas, New Jersey, Not revenue, Dallas. Dallas. Where are you going, Dallas? Where are you taking Dallas to? Seattle. Whoa, you're, you're yes, tell- right here. Okay, and here's why I'm moving, but the other thing is, is the only reason why I also said Florida, so you're closing Florida, Arizona... That offsets both, right? Yep. So now you're down to six, so you got to move a team to Seattle to compensate for that. Or Las Vegas, whatever. Yep. But I think Seattle, because I think Jamie Benn and Tyler Sagan are extremely marketable players. Yeah. And I think people can get behind that in Seattle. They for but sure nonetheless. eat a chai latte donut. And are you telling me that you cannot, public. you cannot turn those Dallas Star jerseys into somewhat of Seattle jerseys? That Seattle works in Sounders. Seattle! That works in Seattle! That green works and in Seattle! They're the right star. there to Vancouver. That could reunite Vancouver to maybe do something more prominent in what the hell. We'll talk about that a little later. The fuck, Vancouver? They're crazy what there. Are you guys but, but no, yes, okay. then you have to look at... Okay, then you have to look at... Okay, so the Central has seven... Now lost a team, so they're down to six. So okay, it's the hardest division, anyways. <laughs> yeah, don't please don't add another. Please so you're you were uh, why well, Columbus okay. in there? We took out Dallas while Columbus. 
Oh, is Columbus in the East? Yes. Did Columbus and Detroit go to the East? Or yeah. Is Columbus no, always Columbus been? and Detroit. Oh, yeah, right, because you can't trade Detroit again because yeah. they made a pinky promise. Yeah. Fuck. They so East. then Columbus, Mr. Would, come, then they Columbus would come to the West. Central, and I guess Carolina would move to Quebec, which Carolina, like, if you're in Quebec and you're getting but Carolina, you, disperse, you should be happy with that. If you disperse Florida, Florida, that means you have, there's a lot of young guys. Oh, no, you know what? Abusive. I'm going to close Carolina. I'm moving Florida. They okay. have more of a prominent. Uh, more but prospects. Come on. Noah Hannafin. Hold on. No, yeah, no, just, okay. just think okay. of, say if we're doing this in three years, think of who's still on the team. Huberto? Oh, wait. Roberto Luongo, he's from, like, the yeah. province of Quebec. Yeah, that's true. But true, though. True. No, Noah Hannafin. Either either one of those teams relocating yeah. is a good thing. And that dispersal drafted that would have ever happen. But it sounds like this is happening, which means more young guys are going to be rushed into the NHL and their careers will not be as good because teams feel like they need to fill a, vo- fill a void on their top two lines because that top-end talent is going to be harder to come across. Why the NHL thinks this is a great idea? Because you know what? All they see right now is they see the potential for money right now. They're not thinking long-term. They're thinking, hey, this is a great five-year thing. How, and I'll just say this to all of us because we're still all Jets fans, how shitty would it be in 10 or 15 years they say, you know what, you guys have done good, but we need to take your team away again. How shitty will that be? To uh, they you can't know, steal Dustin Bufflin if I have him in my basement. <laughs> good luck. <laughs> in fifteen years, you want Dustin Bufflin in your basement? Yeah, he'll, he'll be, be the, fifty. He'll be the GM. But, <laughs> the but no, that's just what I'm saying. Is yes. Why are we thinking about expansion? Where in probably fifteen years, the next commissioner will be like, ha, "This guy was an idiot. Let's take out four teams." Because the the truth of the the matter of the fact is is. Hockey is becoming an increasingly expensive sport to play. It's yes. a more of an elitist kind of upper, Even, you know, middle class. It's a more of a middle class sport. It's harder for the lower class to play. I know there's tons of great foundations out there that want to work hard for it. And, and that's great. But the reality is, is hockey now more than ever is becoming more and more expensive to play and harder for kids to get into. To become the best of the best, to get into those premier camps, to get into that stuff, it costs a fortune. And it's very hard for kids from low-income families or even middle-class families to be able to go to that next level. And how do you expect to fill a 32-team league when your sport is basically a sport for the rich? Where you, you can... the f- Football, not nearly ex- as expensive because you rent the equipment. You don't actually buy it, you rent it. Baseball, pretty easy. Cleats, bat, glove, you're done. Bat's supplied for you. You need gloves and cleats, and that's it. Everything else is supplied. Soccer, very easy to play. Shoes. Basketball, shoes, a hoop. shorts, a, a hoop, exactly. Hops. Easy to play. We're talking about a sport that costs a lot of money know. to play. Yeah. And that's the problem that I see with it. And it's what we're seeing right now in another very old, popular sport, but very expensive sport in golf is an, a decrease and a decline in the amount of people playing it. Because it's just too expensive. And people don't have that excess cash to, to spend well, on it. Well, example, we were talking about it right before we're in beer league hockey together. Winter's going to be like with jerseys and everything, $500. Yeah. Which that's that's a pretty nice That's to just shit. play that's in a league just without and equipment jerseys. or anything. That's not even equipment. I That's registration. Yeah. And we're we're, we're like that's semi a, That's a 15 team 15 player team. Yeah, that's it's so, $6,000 for the league. Like and here's roughly. here's what I'm saying is to play in those AAA leagues it's like ten grand, well, if not more, a season yeah. per player. I walked past them when I was in Edmonton. Uh, my my friend and I we we're, were there on tour, and uh, we walked past. We were in the West Edmonton Mall, and the Brick Tournament was on the best pee wee players in the world, age nine and ten, and where they meet once a year and play inside the West. That's Edmonton why Mall. you guys went out there. Yeah, see. yeah, that's exactly yeah scouting for the future. Yeah. Anyways, um, we just so happened the Winnipeg Jets, like the Junior Jets, were there, and we I walked past a parent, and they were just talking about money. I didn't ask them or anything, and they were saying that them. Uh, with their son, the mom, the dad, and just the daughter, it was costing them for the whole tournament, which ran, uh, I believe, 10 days, of $15,000. Like, that's... $15,000 for a ter- one tournament? That's and, half of what I make well, in a year! And I talked to a, and I talked to a, uh, an, a parent, or I, I, I'd overheard a conversation, sorry, um, and they were saying there's four tournaments in a year. Four. Fifteen thousand for sixty thousand just for summer hockey. <laughs> what? What the hell? That's this insane. Is so, and you know what the crazy like, thing is? You, take the you whole know what the family, crazy thing is about that? 
two of those kids might go to the dub. Two of them. Yeah, might. If not more. Like, oh, dub being like two, WHL or Junior League here. Two or five. Yeah. Kids will go. And there's and maybe 15 on the team. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. And that's what I mean. Is like, why are we looking at that when really the economics of this league and the economics of the sport is going to have a huge downfall in a couple of years with everything going on? But I think we should move on to something a little bit less. Well, I mean, since since we could kind of say, Greg, Greg was heated. That was since well, I was thinking about this at work. I'm like, plus when you think about like all the economy stuff, I I'm a nerd when it comes to. You this. have to remember though, Gary Bettman's that kid at Christmas, and his parents are like, Gary, we bought you 30 action figures. He's like, but I want 32. Yeah, that's yeah. two more. <laughs> so. I mean, well, since we're semi just, on the subject, you know right, uh, Arizona this past week uh, had a seven to none uh, unanimous vote. They approved an amended lease for the. Arena. And so now the annual payment of six and a half million to ICE Arizona for the management of the arena, a six and a half million. Uh, it used to be fifteen million a year. Revenue goes to the team to offset reduction in the payment. And um, there's no out clause now in the new agreement. So they can't just up and go. And I believe that agreement is on for another eight years. So they'll be there for at least eight years before they can move Phoenix. So I can't see Phoenix moving anytime soon. Baffles me that that franchise is still floating. Hey, or when you're that committed. You can't can't really float in the desert because there's no water. When your fans, yeah. You know what I mean. When your fans only show up when they're like, oh, we're we're trying to move the team. What? I'm one of 3,000 season ticket holders. I'm not trying to make them all sound like old people. Oh, what? Excuse me? Oh, what? The Flames are in town? Okay, I'll go. Oh, what? The Oilers are in town? Damn, that's awesome. So today at work, I was talking to a customer, and she was saying that she uh, lives in... um, in around Phoenix, Arizona, and she's like, "Yeah, the only games we go to are when the Jets are in town, the Flames are in town, or the Canucks are in town." That's hilarious. That's awesome. It's true. She's like, "Yeah, I don't that's care." That's how it is. And then it's... she's like, "Oh, Toronto sucks. I don't want to go see them." Like, no offense, great. That's just what she said. But that's hilarious. They but only people... care. Like, but even... three games a year doesn't help. But even when the Leafs are in Florida, it's full, it's and full the games of, are twenty five bucks. It's full of Leafs. Tickets fans. are twenty five bucks. Yeah, and it's cheaper. Five bucks it's, the size of your head. It's literally cheaper for Leaf fans to fly down to Florida. Stay for a couple days, then and go to like maybe two Florida Panther games, then to go to like two Toronto Maple Leaf games throughout the year. It's ridiculous. Yeah, funny. There's a lady. Do they have the all you can eat hot dog seats like the Thrashers did. Yeah, oh, I think great. so. I'd love to go in. The, I wish we had those. Maybe not. Did you go there? Hot dogs. Did you go to the Thrashers? No, I okay. wanted to. We were planning. To, we were but planning, then they moved. but then they moved. <laughs> so I mean, <laughs> they I came here. They made it, it really us. convenient. We pretty much except spent now I, instead of that thirty nine dollar, it's thirty nine dollars for the hot dog and drink. The tickets more. <laughs> yeah, the tickets are not. <laughs> it's thirty nine dollars for one hot. They dog. give you a free smile. On that point, yeah. a little a little thing about moose droppings. Go ahead. The concessions and beer will be cheaper. What? They'll be more AHL priced. What are they gonna call the jet dog? The moose, the moose antler. The moose antler? No, <laughs> moose droppings. Moose droppings. The moose log. <laughs> the moose log. <laughs> Wait, who's the cat? Who's going to play on the team? <laughs> JC, the Lapon dog. Nick Snibbler? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe not. <laughs> I don't think so. It's not very family friendly. But Tans Peter? <laughs> 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 hey, uh, Manitoba Moose or True North? Why are Why do no. I work for you? Yeah, True North Moose. If you need marketing people to name your do- hot dogs, hit or, us up. Or if you want us to name anything. your wiener, yeah. <laughs> Mickey Moose's log. There yeah. you go. Okay, we need French fries. Go French fries. Names. Go. What go was go, it anybody. called before when the moose were here? Just a, just a jumbo moose dog. Was it was a moose dog? dog. I think so. That's boring. We need something that better sucks. than that. I, I don't know. I, I oh, Who's on the moose this year? Who's going to be on the moose? Uh, oh, I got I got the name of the menu for the side menu. Oh, okay. Scotty Cosmichuk, Scotty Sides, and then have like fries and everything underneath. <laughs> yes! It's about the only good thing he's going to be good for. Oh! Hello Bucks hamburger. I was just going to yeah! say that! Oh. <laughs> yeah! yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, Comrie's Cubs. Com- no, Com- 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 no, Comrie's Chips. Comrie, yes! Comrie's Chips. Boom! <laughs> It no, is, it's uh, gonna be Carver's cone and chips. Where I put French fries chips. in ice cream cones. Yeah. <laughs> what are, are have you have ever tried that? Ever dipped a ever dipped a French I fry in frosty? Enjoyable. It's delicious. Have you guys had goutine? goutine. No. What? We've talked about this. It's French fries, but instead of gravy, gummy bur- gummy worms, gummy worms, gummy bears. Mm. You wrap it with tin foil, let it melt a bit. Different. Takes you on a close your goutine. eyes. It'll take you on an adventure. Mm. Goutine. Um. 
Oh yeah. Sounds so like uh, where were we? How did we get here? I don't what? remember. You so it sounds like your wife's box. I, no, <laughs> unacceptable, Greg. GK. Uh, to fill everyone in, because Greg doesn't give preface to anything. Okay, so the movie in the movie Ted, there's a scene. There is an explicit one or two. One. Okay. There's an explicit the tag on this podcast for a reason. Earmuffs if you're around children. Please hit pause or skip ahead like 45 We're seconds. We're giving you a warning here. Okay, Life here it is. This, so, uh, when he says 45 seconds, he really means like a minute and a half. Let's be at honest. least three When minutes. do we ever get to yeah, the point? Probably just stop listening and never return. <laughs> yeah. So, okay. Whoa, hey, Ted, we need fans. Ted, Ted, yeah. Ted goes to do an interview at the supermarket. Especially if you're in the car with your grandma right now. This is a great time to just turn it up. Yeah. So, Ted Hi, goes, grandma. Okay, Greg, right? When Ted goes to do this interview uh, to get a job at the supermarket, and he sits down, he's sitting on all his suit, looking all dapper and whatnot, and the supermarket guy's like, so do you have what it takes? And he's like, I tell you what I've got, your wife's pussy on my breath. <laughs> and then he's like, like oh my it. God, no one's ever talked to me like that before. And he's like, probably because it's fully, probably because her mouth is full of your wife's box. And all weekend. You're hired. <laughs> yeah, you're, you're hired. hired. Shit. 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 <laughs> Okay, and we're back. So the reason uh, I said that is because, or Grace well, said yeah. that, was because this past weekend, like any chance I got, I just added your wife's box to the other. Like, I was swimming in the lake, and I'm like, wow, Greg, this this lake is so big. Kind of like your wife's box. <laughs> For no reason at all. Like, we Literally, it worked with everything. Yeah, everything. Like, try to give us a sentence, Dan. I went to the store to get... Your wife's box. <laughs> <laughs> or it's like, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it works. It works. But anyways, um, uh, we're talking but about... Sports, sports. Sports. Oh, yeah. Sports and things. Um, here's another Hockey. Here's another subject. Sticks, I'm gonna, pucks, ice. I'm going to name... Skates. Yep. Gloves. Helmets. You done? Okay. Fives are good. Green um, I'm going to name... Shin pads. I'm going to name five pads? players. Shin pads. And their ages. Okay. And then you'll pretty much be able to put two and two together, and we're okay. going to base it off that. It's the, I don't know what this is so about. The, what, well, preface this. What it's are we the New discussing? Jersey Devils preview. No, no, it's, no, it's not. not. No okay. one's ready for but. that. <laughs> <laughs> you think you're ready. Next you're week. never ready. Next week. Yeah. Get ready. The worst <laughs> preview ever. It was, like, I'll talk about next week. It was so hard to find info for the Devils. Like, Pavel seriously, Zaka. it took me Pavel two. Zaka. Yeah, one guy, and they already signed him. <laughs> He's going to be on the team. They don't have prospects. Okay. Joe Thornton. 36. Patrick Marlowe, 35. Joe Pavelski, 31. Mark Edward Vlasic, 28. And here's the outlier. Logan Couture, 26. All Canadian. All played for San Jose Sharks. Uh, not all. all uh, never won a Stanley Cup and who never is will. Who's Canadian on that list? Just uh, uh, Pavelski's. American. Oh, sorry. P- American. Okay. Okay. Uh, the first four I named were assistant captains. The fifth one is a, a toss up. He could be an assistant captain. Uh, Sharks have announced that they will have a captain for this upcoming season. Last okay. captain they had was Joe Thornton, your... 13 for it. Who's Cap- your captain? Daddy. What? Because, yeah. Captain. I said that's daddy. A, oh, that's, that's okay. Yeah, now, who of, who of these, who would you name the captain and who would be the two assistants? Or rotating three? The name game? I, honestly, I, I think it's time for Thornton I think to I'd go. have like a spinning wheel and i just push it and then I throw a dart at the wheel and then whoever it hits captain then okay. I'm thinking again. of a number between 1 and 5 and that's going to be my decision but no actually I'm thinking of a number between 1 and 10 in my head for the amount of time it's going to take that's the number of that what What? okay I'm thinking of a number Is that between English? <laughs> no it wasn't I'm thinking of a number between 1 and 10 okay the, the number of guesses it takes you is who's going to be the captain this so at five, I'm just going to stop you. You yeah. take the longest roundabout yeah. way to guess. The that. number of guesses. This to is get an what? opinion piece. It's not a get. Like it's what a is guessing it? game. You're, you're gonna this be is right. what it's going to be. be right. No, this is how the San Jose Sharks are going to decide. Okay, hold it's on. A guessing Dan, game. who do you think? Will if be it the takes captain? us six guesses to get it, then it's number six. But you already know who it is because we have to get it before you can tell us who it is. What kind of sick democracy hierarchy is this? Based on how many times it takes us to get it, that makes no sense. Like I said earlier, I'm not smart. What do you think, Gary Bettman of this podcast? No. Your logic is flawless. <laughs> or extremely flawless. Okay, Greg, who do you actually think it's going to be? Okay, I'll, I'll do it first. Okay, you go Personally, first. Personally, Thornton and Marlowe, no. I would not. I'm in the same thought. I give Marlowe the letter A, but for captains, captaincy, I'd give it to Vlasic because he's actually had a letter. Yeah. He's the youngest, though, mm-hmm. so I don't know. And then I give it to an Ada Pavelski and an Ada Couture. I just think you got to go young, but they, they still, what, what? Like, I can't <laughs> wait till we get to do their preview, too, because... Some of their guys were like, no, we're stuck in mediocrity. We're good enough to make the playoffs, but we're never good enough to win games. You know what I mean? <laughs> like, it's no, so they weird. can't close out series. Yeah, A's, close out series. 
The A's will go to Vlasic. Okay. And Thornton. Okay. Captaincy goes to Brett Burns. Oh, oh nice! Oh, I didn't think about board. Burns. That off was nice. the board pick. Right okay. there. Just okay, who are you going good with? Good Kanevaka. <laughs> okay, Greg. Who are you going with? I think your uh, weird logic in your head is. Okay, I'm just gonna. Greg got drunk in the last two minutes I, somehow. I, I had a couple happened. beers in hockey today. And Starting and to come feeling through. good. Feeling good. I actually know. You don't know? No, I don't feel it at all. So you don't know who the captain's gonna be? No, I can tell you. Go. Who I think it's gonna be? Yes. Because I hey, don't. Hey, thanks, Don Cherry. Get to the point. I'm Ron McLean right now. We're in crunch here. Let's do this. Are we on a time crunch? No. How much time we got? You're the two worst. Two minutes? Yeah, two minutes. <laughs> Y'all see what you got, Don? What meme coke? Hey, Don, Don, he's European. He's a guy European Canadian. He's a Canadian. Adopted Canadian. Johnny, okay, Canadian. Canadian. That's Don Cherry. I actually had the thought the other day. Okay. Yeah. I'll, I'll get to that in a second. I'm going to talk about this. Who's the captain? Joe Pavelski. Why? He's American. Okay. Americans are good leaders. They're the leaders of the free world. They're going to get Donald Trump as a president. When did history start? <laughs> 1776. That's correct. Because everything before that is irrelevant. <laughs> <laughs> I told that science teacher lady the only one I need to know are you. S and A. I like my beer like I like my violence. Domestic. <laughs> <laughs> 13 stars and 50 bars the only music things I need to know that's the American flag that's 50 stars what did I say and 13 bars <laughs> oh Jesus <laughs> there's an American eagle you tell that coming for us right now you need to, you need we're all gonna die bars. next thing you think they'll be nice no okay Pavelski why he's the oldest of the new regime players okay um, and then I would give the A's to Couturier or Couturier. Oh man, great player, man. There's a trade coming. There's a trade. Yeah, Couture and Vlasic. Okay. Uh, I think Brett Burns is another candidate that is definitely worthy of a of a captaincy. I don't know what he's like in the room. The reason why I say Joe Pavelski is he's most likely to stay there longer term, because both Thornton and Marlowe are going to be out the door in the next. They've three already years. expressed they've wanted out for the past two years. Exactly. So they'll go to a contender at some point in the next couple seasons. And San Jose is going to build. The thing is, is Joe Pavelski will be the captain for now. It'll ve- It's for my personal opinion, it's either going to be Pavelski or it's going to be Couture. Um, it's all about who's better in the room. I think it's going to be Vlasic. The reason I, I know I, I said Burns, but I just Couture you know doesn't look like a leader. He doesn't look like a, he's young. He doesn't look like a leader to me. He just doesn't. but. That's fair. Uh, and you know what? And Vlasic, like, any of those three guys could do it. It's just one of them needs to take the helm of the new era San Jose Sharks. Because the next five years are are going to be a bumpy ride. And if they don't have the right leadership to bring these new guys in to really kind of build a core, it's going to be tough. Like, I remember, um, like, I think having Andrew Ladd right now for the Winnipeg Jets is a huge thing. Because he's a veteran. He's been around the league for a while. He's, he's seen everything. He might not be the oldest guy in the room. Mo- not the most grizzled veteran, but he understands what it takes to get there and what it takes to be successful. And that's what Joe Pavelski has, and that's why I think he, he should be captain. Great point. That's awesome. Yeah, I like this that. This is why I'm... Why you what? The best. You're the best. Um, I'm all right, just a quick note before go, we go jump into... Another well, week. actually, I was going to ask you guys this before, before we do that. Who's going to f- replace John Cherry? Is he done? No, I'm just saying, when he does, when he dies on set. <laughs> Knowing Sportsnet, it'll be... A propped up Caprice? version of... Oh. oh God. You, I, you, he's crazy. But he here's crazy. the thing. Is, yes, we've disagreed with Sportsnet before. But who's more controversial... Who do more people dislike than Nick Kiprios? Glenn Healy. Other yeah, great. but, but he has the knowledge. Not that Kip- Healy doesn't. And like- Kiprios also has a connection. But Healy's also on ice. Kiprios has a connection. Honestly, it could be Kiprios. The other guy could be Damien Cox. Both are extremely controversial and are very... They express their points and they mean it. And you know what? They're also connected in the in the hockey league. But I gotta go with Kiprios. Don Cherry's a character. I know. None of those guys are yeah. characters. They're well, straight up Out of the more of the character, reporting. I'd say <laughs> Kiprios only because I don't think Sportsnet slash CBC whatever is going to put give it to Damien Cox. Because to my knowledge, I don't think he played in the NHL. Oh, okay. No. Um, I would say I Kiprios so. among the older generation or older people would be a little more respected because he did play in the NHL. Mm. You know who I'd like? Claude, Claude Noel. 
Bubbles. John tore a fucking Rella. Oh. oh! I know. <laughs> Boom. <laughs> How great would I, that be? Okay. Don Cherry's got the longest delay in national television right now in North America. There's a reason. 11 seconds. There's a reason. Tortorella would have 30 because they'd have to beep out every Tortorella, word. they would tape it the day before, like yeah. six times, <laughs> edit it out, and it would but still Hulk, be racist and inappropriate be so and terrible. Great. No, that's Hulk Hogan who's racist. Oh, right. Get Sorry. it right. Yeah. Wrong well, sport. Because we're all the racist. Yeah. Brother. Brother. Yeah. Um, <laughs> no, but like, how great would that be? John he Tortorella. Because he was a coach. He's won a cup on like Don Cherry. Um, I already got his. I already got a Ron. Um, Strombo. I was gonna go Elliot Friedman. No. Uh, okay. Okay. No. Yeah, I got it. But I was only going Strombo because he's already not that Friedman. Actually, Friedman hosted too. Friedman's too well connected. I don't want to take Friedman away because I think. <sighs> Like I don't want yeah. to have that, freedom there because Friedman's awesome. He's, he's like the so guy who goes. Who's that black reporter? Or PJ Stock. Uh, who's that Kevin black Weeks? guy that just goes crazy for baseball and like yells on the radio? You guys know what I'm talking about? No. He's on 1290 all the time. No. Oh, he's hilarious. Or, he should do it. I don't know who. He is. I don't know who he is. I just remember maybe he's on the radio Ford? for a reason. Does he have a face for radio or? Maybe that's what you trying to say. Just call him a black guy. Can't? can't be on TV. Oh Jesus! Oh. No! How racist are you? <laughs> I was calling him ugly, not him as a black person ugly. Wow! Making it about race now. Jeez. <laughs> These guys are dead. You should join Hulk Hogan. You hate gays too, or what? No. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what, are you, are you Republican? Are, are you Republican? Uh, are you on the I don't want to talk anymore. So are you on the Trump train? I so <laughs> Don't lie. We all want to see it. We all want to see it. Come on. <laughs> I'm surprised Trump didn't put it a bit out to buy an NHL team. And put it, he's like, hey, so I'm going to be your next president, and guess what my new NHL team is going to be called? The NHL Donald Trump, fuck you. That's the name of my team. Hey, Batman, a billion dollars. I get a team next season. Where are you playing out of Trump Tower, bitches? Who's going to watch? No one. I don't give a shit. You're fired. You're hired. I don't care. No one has free agents. <laughs> Donald I mean, Trump, 2016. I think you broke it, Greg. <laughs> I farted while clear, I was laughing. That was great. We do not condone racism or... No. Homophobia, anti -homophobia. anything. No. But, no. We, we do condone Donald Trump. We love nuts. everybody. Everyone yeah. is on this earth for a reason. <laughs> yeah, Respect everybody love all. everybody. But, legitimately, like, wouldn't... It, for Coach's Corner to continue to exist, it would need to be another coach. So I guess Kiprios wouldn't work because he was never a coach. But John Tortorella no, gonna... or the next guy that I would think of because he'll probably get fired, Patrick Wah. Ooh. Ooh, that's a good one. Because be he's good. crazy too. He's you think nuts. he's going to get fired? They're I, not gonna, I don't think they're going to do very good this year. I don't, think, I don't think he lasts the next 15 years that what's-his-face has. <laughs> Don Cherry is going to be alive for another like fifteen years. Oh yeah, well probably. At least be senile enough. I hope not. Yeah, you know the Iron Man. How Iron That's Man me. doesn't have a heart. He's got that thing. Well, actually, Don. He Cherry's... has a heart. He has the thing to stop the metal from going to his. Oh, heart. okay. Well, that's what you guys are here Jeez. to tell me. That. Um, he's uh, Don Cherry's suits are actually a super suit. Like it, it's yeah. keeping him alive. It's exactly. a hyperbolic chamber, is what it is. Yeah. It's not. His it's not face like... is like eighty, but his body is <laughs> like a sixteen-year-old boy. Very crazy. He looks like the Rock from the neck down. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. he's a Rock's body double. Yeah. Um. Okay. To uh, I guess move on from this, just brief before we jump into it. Matt Dumb is changing. Uh, we're his forty-five minutes in. Well, I think Matt, we've already jumped into Matt, it. Okay. <laughs> I think we're swimming. Already. Well, I find we're going to the we're going to a little bit deeper into the deeper end. Not really. You know what I Matt like to go deeper in. Uh, my wife's <laughs> Brax. Jeez. <laughs> Sorry, we're everyone not married. listening to this. Uh, Matt Dumba is changing his number from 55 to 24. Wasn't he already 24? No, uh, okay. Matt Cook was, but they oh, want okay. Matt Cook out. Um, but he asked I permission to the too. Bugard family to you could do it. Matt Cook did as well. Oh. And he got approval to do it because he wore oh. 24 all That's very years, respectful. So. Yeah, I love that. I think that's great. That's pretty okay. cool. Um, uh, there was only one trade of note. It happened today. Thankfully, mm -hmm. um, the Canucks traded away Nick Bonino, who's twenty four. He's got two years left on his He's contract. He's twenty four or twenty seven. Okay, I was two years left at one point nine per. Adam Clendenny is twenty two. He's on an entry level contract, one year left, and a second rounder next year to the Penguins for Brandon Sutter, who's twenty six, has one year left on his contract at three point three and a third rounder. What do you think of the trade? I think it's a step backwards. I don't know what 
Like, Vancouver is like San Jose. They're stuck in, like, mediocrity of, like, sure, they're good enough to make the playoffs some most seasons, but, like, they never... They don't have an identity. They don't at but all. They're Here's clearly the thing. going for a defensive style because but Sutter is a, did he's great. more of a two-way... But the thing he's, is, is... He's more of a two-way guy and... Like Benino's more of an offensive. Like he's not he's not an offensive powerhouse, but he's a decent second, third line hockey player. I mean I don't see Sutter being a second line center. Well who no. Well I guess And I yeah. don't I don't I wanna see how we matched up against other teams third lines, but I don't think he was anything that special there in Pittsburgh. But clearly maybe they see something or maybe there was a riff in the room with Nick Benino. But Maybe Nick Benino said, you know, I want to start talking extension this year, two years in. Maybe he wants a bunch of money because, man, maybe they're not prepared to pay him and maybe they think that they can get a better deal with Brandon Sutter and maybe they have a centerman in their um, talent pool that they can bring up and use. I guess maybe they think Bo Horvat's ready for the second line and they're going to get maybe. Sutter the third maybe. line. Yeah, maybe. Or maybe, they're or maybe they'll like kind of hybrid it. Yeah. That, that's you know the only thing I think. Nick Benino, because you know what's going to happen? He's going to play with Crosby and score like 20 goals because that's what everyone who goes to Pittsburgh does. David Perron. Are they Chris much? Kunitz. That is such a good trade for Pittsburgh. And they just know, got better. They just they saved cap space. Um, and on top of that, to I guess move to the next subject, signings. They signed Eric Fair today. Yeah, I Three saw Three years, six million, two mil per. That's our fourth line center, by the way. Eric Fair is our fourth line center. Behind, uh, well, Crosby, Crosby. Malkin, Bonino, Fair or whatever. Fair had or seventeen or eighteen goals. No, I think year, I think know. Benino could also play a winger role. Their power, like Pittsburgh's power play, is going to be ridiculous next year. Pittsburgh yeah. is going to be ridiculous next yeah. year. I think that I. Th- Their I'm not offense saying it's going to be ridiculous. Let's. Yeah, so, that's true. Guys, that's Pittsburgh. True. They Pittsburgh, have Philly game next year. Four. It's going to be rough. Philly Pittsburgh next year. Yeah, that's good. those are going to be good games. Yeah. I'd be happy in Kenora watching those on Game Center. Speaking of signings. Hey, Greg, you know what you, you, know you know Kenora doesn't have? What? TSN Jets. Yes, or, it does. Or do they? Yeah. Oh. It doesn't matter. You'll have Game Center. Even if. Blacked out, though. Oh, yeah, really? actually, no, they'll, they'll be actually, there. It wouldn't be. Yeah, they, yeah okay. They'll be there. Uh, uh, you're there. in Jets' region. The greatest signing happened today that any signing could ever happen Wait, in, in the history. Marcus Johansson's joined the Leafs? <laughs> no. The Philadelphia Flyers. Signed. Mike Richards signed somewhere. You're a terrible person. Just let me finish my sentence. Please. You're ruining this moment. Chuck Atari right. signed six years, 26 mil, and an average cap hit of 4.33 per. Okay. Kicking in next year. Now, the question that I have to ask both Dan and Cam. Yes. I'm wearing my Chuck Atari jersey. Would you be willing to, to pay Mark Shifley that amount? I knew 4. this was 3? coming. 4.3? 4.3. Yeah. Over six I'm years. Told, I 4.5, Mark Shifley. Okay. But. um, Over six years. Over six years? Yeah. Well, here's the. Do you think it's worth it? Here's a breakdown of uh, Sean Couture. All right. 3.754, 4, 4.25, 4.25, 4.75, 4.75. How old is he at the end of the deal? Uh, he's 22 right now, so 23. So he kicks, no kicks in when 29. he's... 29. He'll be 29. Kick... He won't even be 30 yet yeah, by the end of this deal. Yeah, he'll be 29. And that's probably when he'll make the bulk of his money. He'll probably be a $6.5 million play at the end of his deal. You don't well, know. I would I mean, say, I would say six. Well, inflation. Yeah, yeah. Inflation. Okay, this is what I thought of it. They've by, by signing him, they've officially confirmed that they're choosing Katuri over Shen. Shen, now it's a show-me year for Shen. If not, they yeah. will not be afraid to just trade him. He's an RFA, so they're not going to lose him anyways. Yeah. Um. So Shen's better buckle up. But also, on top of that, this shows me that they're going to play Katuri on the second line this year because they're paying him like a second-line centerman. Sec- uh, top six forward, rather. Cam. And, hold on, they have to pay someone to play defense, and that's Sean Katuri because their defense can't play defense. <laughs> that's true. Okay. They have I'm 15 just, defensemen I'm now. tendering this deal out to you right now. You can accept it or decline it. Tyler Bozak. Tyler Bozman. Okay. Tyler Bozman. For Brain Shen. Straight up? Straight up? Straight up. No. Fuck. Not no a chance. They're terrible. I want Brain Shen on the loose. Really badly. I can see Brain Shen going on the loose. Who was it? Who was the centerman that I said would be on the Leafs? I, I remember talking to you about it. I was like, oh, they should go after this centerman because they think he'd be great for the second line. It would be Nazem Kadri and somebody else. I'm drawing blank at the moment. Oh. Uh, probably Shannon would have been. He's always semi been available, but every time people talk about it, Hextall and Holmgren are like, "Oh no, 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 he's uh, he's not available." No, seriously, he is though, and they're winking the whole time. They're like, "No, no, he's not available." No, really, give us a call, please, anybody. <laughs> we'll throw in Lecavalier. Yeah. Please, <laughs> my eye has a twitch in it. I can't stop. <laughs> yeah. Oh, oh man, am I doing this uh, for sure? Someone's out the door because they're over the cap now. So 
That's awesome. Okay. I believe they're over the cap, and if not, they're damn close to the cap. For okay. next year, for next year. No, this year. Oh, shit. Yep, this year. And next year, they have 16 players signed for like 52.8, I think. Oh, wow. Yeah, they're they're going to have the same team for the next couple years. Like, they're waiting for the young guns to kind of pick you, her up. So you're comparing this contract to what Mark Shifley might get next year? Yeah. Well, I mean, if you're looking, the way the NHL works... Points got, guys that get points get paid more than guys that play defense. Yep. And I don't totally agree with it, but Mark Shifley is a much better point producer than Chuck Turi. Mm-hmm. Uh, well, you know, so right now he's slightly above him, but I think he will be. His high. He, they drafted him uh, uh, on top. We talked about this. They've drafted Mark Shifley over Sean Couturier because they believed his ceiling was higher. Sean Couturier, he's he's been sheltered for like he sheltered for the first couple years that he played. This is his fifth year in the league. Sure, he doesn't put up. I think he's put up 118 points in like 240 odd, 257. It's tough though because games. like they're 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 different players. Yeah, and I feel like as a team you need one of each. Mm-hmm. So it's tough to say who gets more money. To me, I honestly thought like Couturier before they signed the contract. I thought in his next contract he's for sure getting like. Between three point seven five to uh, five. Oh, Do you think the Jets so, will commit six years to Mark Shifley after he only seeing him play three? I think I, I could see I could see a bridge contract of like three million dollars. The but question that's also is also because Couturier played right right away. Do you he think didn't go back? Do you think that Couturier could be the next Patrice Bergeron? Couturier the, be the next, next Patrice Ber- Bergeron, Bergeron in terms of like defensive forward prowess. The fact that I think he's he so is. sought he after. Is. He already plays a, like uh, the similar thought, style, but you know like how Patrice Bergeron has had this like superstar kind of feel towards him that everyone, you know, he was on the cover of NHL 15. People fell in love with him. Oh. They think he's, like, the best thing since sliced bread. They think he's the he best the defensive center. the worst NHL video game they've made in, like, yes. the last 10 years. The best, the best defensive forward to play in years. Like, he continuously gets, you know, nominated for that award. Is Sean Couturier going to reach that to level? To me, I would... Think? Lo- to me, yes, I do okay. think that. Um, do you think he'll be valued that way? In the NHL. Yes. Okay. Do you, I think think so. he sta- do you think he stays in Philly for the whole six years? Yes. I Personally, yes. He's, he's one a of those fly- guys. He's a f- ginger. He's a flyer. I, yeah, happens. I guess. Um, Unless just, you're Scotty Hartnell. Just to give, uh, you asked Dan, would you offer this after seeing, like, same contract after seeing for three years? Flyers have seen Sean Couturier. This will be going into his fifth. This, this year's five. This year's his fifth season. Because he had two extra so years on. So I believe on... the Jets are going to bridge him. Flyers d- don't necessarily bridge guys. But they've they've seen they know what he can offer and especially by going in and giving him the second line center he's still gonna get the hard minutes they know what he can do they've just I think this season instead of waiting out to see what he can do on offense they already know what he might potentially bring so they're like okay you know what we're okay giving you this and that's why the contract gets gradually bigger it doesn't and it doesn't kick in till the start of next year too so he's still got this year to show them that he's earned this contract mm-hmm. and then he will continue to earn it question though because. Yes. From what what I've read, um, this is, I'll try and be quick. But yeah, you're talking about what they're gonna the Jets are gonna do next year. If they bridge Shifley, because all indications are that Truba is just gonna get a big contract. Yeah, there's no there's oh, no bridge. Six to seven million. You, you, they said look at Dougie Hamilton's contract. Yeah. and probably a bit more, like in terms of value. Yeah. So team, value to team and whatnot. And yes, but but probably six like seven eight year term. Mm-hmm. So if you sign Truba, say his average is seven or eight, say he gets an, a seven million dollar average for seven years, and then you go Shifley, say, oh, we're going to give you a two year bridge. How would you, if you're Mark Shifley? How do you feel about that? That's because okay, okay, no, no, I shouldn't like, that's jump a, on you like this. You know this. what? That's actually a really good point because that's what I was thinking about. But the truth of the matter is, is you got to look at value to team. Truba's going to be the number one guy defensively for this team. Shifley's not right And we now. talked about it last week. And Stefan mentioned you sit, you he's sit, not a number one center. You sit down he's a great a, 1A. You sit or 1B. down. I think so. right now we have a great 1B yeah. in Brian Lowe. Mm-hmm. The best 1B in Brian Lowe. Yeah, we've, we've, we've talked about it. statistically proven. So I would sit down with Mark and say, we want you to be a Winnipeg Jet. We want you to prove to us that you're worth that money. Jacob Truba has proved to us over the time your your injury hurt you. That that injury his first year really did hurt his development and what he could show. That was his yeah, knee? Yeah, that was his knee. Oh. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry. Because yeah, really, point. that was when he was trending upward. And same with this year. So you know what? I'm not saying guarantee bridge, 
but we could see a three-year deal, four-year deal even, be, depending on what he does this year and if he really steps up to the plate. If they, you know, if they're like, hey, if you really step up and you, uh, Wheeler and Stafford, really gel together and make us that contending team and really go to that next step because we've seen Truba do it. And really, like, you got to sit down with guys and sometimes it's just the way you approach it that guys will be okay with it. Here you go. Right up the alley. Uh, a, for, a signing that happened uh, this past week. Derek Stepan had a bridge contract. The same deal they said, you show us. They just signed him six years, $39 million, six and a half average uh, to a player who had n- has never surpassed 60 points. Perfect. So maybe... Great deal. Sh- that's right. Like, I'm not... I fully believe that Shifley could probably surpass 60 points one day. But say if he doesn't, that he could still use Derek Stepan as the example. Yeah, how I does, think that's... I think that's that, great for... No, okay. Jess, how does that tie into Andrew Ladd? Andrew Ladd's gone over 60 points several years. Okay, no, sorry. I think he went over... This was his first year over 60, but he's been 59, 58 a couple of times. The thing with Andrew Ladd and the thing that the Jets have to look at is commitment. How long do the Jets want to commit to term-wise. Andrew Ladd long-term? Do I don't think they have long- an issue paying him the money. No. It's the term that he... Because you, he's probably going to want, like, four or five years. I would say confidently he wants four years. Because they'll probably... Because it'll be his be last a, contract. Is, he, yeah. he, I think he wants six or seven years. But Whoa. then you, then you have to talk to him. But here's the different thing. Is Derek Stepan is reaching this in the prime of his career. He's and he's proven. He's like 24? Pro- yeah, thought, exactly. He's, he he's at most 26 years old. Mm-hmm. Andrew Ladd's, mm-hmm. what, 28, 29? So he'll be 30 when they re-sign him? So it's tougher I to think say... he already is 30, is Okay, not? it's tougher to say he's worth this money when... Yes, he's been a great leader, but the way that he, the way the team has to explain it to him is, you're the contributing guy on this team. Do you really want to take away from this team being able to win as in your last contract? He and by saying by saying that they'll say, okay, we we'll, value you. We value you. We will we, give you, and then say hypothetically, they'll be five like, you want half, five six, years? Five. We'll give you four mil, but we'll give you we'll give you four mil at what? What would you? I, you know what? I think five years, five million dollars per is great for him. I think he's what, worth it. What's he that. making at this four? Point? Four, two, five. I think he's four. Four, five. I think he's four. I, th- I, he's I four, hope five. they find a common ground, and I have full faith in Chevy that they can do it. I really hope it doesn't go to arbitration like pretty much every other one so far, which is really <sighs> it's awesome. Or right before arbitration. It's, it scares Sorry. me how much guys are getting though, because if you look at Andrew Ladd and you look at some of the other players on that team, like. If you're like and it, how, how how can you pay Andrew Ladd more than Blake Wheeler? There's no way Andrew Ladd is getting less than six six and a half million dollars as new contract as a cap hit. That's there's no way it's he's not, getting less. There's no way he's getting less than six. It's not gonna happen. Okay, he's gonna be the highest paid player. But, the Jets. Okay. Yeah. Okay. But, All right. Yeah, I still think that Enstrom and Buffalo need to go, and that frees up so much cap room. I I don't get how you can. I mean, m- m- you know, it, it, they, when they signed Brian Little for four million and Blake Wheeler for five seven five two years ago, that was uh, you know, and Big. now that looks like a great deal because those guys are those guys could probably get seven million dollars in the open market. Maybe not Little, but Wheeler could probably get seven. Yeah. Someone would pay him it. He get you he'd know get a lot in a, in a league know, that so can pay Tyler Bozak four point four million or whatever he's getting. There's a there's a team out there that would bite on six and a half, seven and for it, Brian Little. It it just scares me that how much and guys, where Colin Wilson can get five point five a year. Because I don't is that what he got? No, he got a four, four. Colin Wilson's had four years, fifteen point seven five, so three point nine per. He got less than Craig Smith. Yep. Oh, Craig, and it, well, for, what a joke. oh, and then Braden Holby signed five years, thirty point five mil, deal. so six point one per. I right, just weird fun facts about this. Marcus Johansson asked for four point seven five. Marcus Johansson. Uh, Caps offered him three. They have cap space of 4.219 left. Arbitration date is tomorrow, July 29th. I don't think he stays. Well, I mean... I Come have to. to Toronto. We need you in Toronto. They we need more cool number, guys. Toronto. We need How good you is Washington going to be next year? So good, unless they don't have Mark Stranson. He's the glue that holds everyone together. Just kidding. But he's actually a really good player. Mm-hmm. Um, I'd like to see him stay there. Yeah. But just to finish my thought, it's... Go. I, there's no way I think Angelotti is worth six and a half, seven million dollars. I don't. He's, Neither do I. But they, it, it scares me because that's what the going rate for uh, his fi- type of player fifty is. to sixty point defensive, and he's a captain. So that's going to add more money to his contract. A captain bonus. You got every yeah. everybody gets it. You know. So what uh, would Jack Sparrow get? Because he's a captain. 
That was terrible. Yeah, but that fourth movie sucked ass, so. <laughs> hey, they're making five and six, though. It's going to make know. up for it. This is a song about Captain Jack Sparrow. Neither of you know the words. Neither. Michael Bolton. Yeah. <laughs> Closing words, Great gentlemen. Um, I miss hockey. I want there to be hockey on TV again. It sucks. Ass. Wake me up when September ends. Because then we get hockey in October. That's a great one. You know what? You probably should have saved that for when we're like FaceTiming or next time you're on. It's fine. I'll say it at the end of every time. Okay. Here's that's the it. other thing. Go ahead. It's been a pleasure to be live with you guys for the last 51 weeks. Greg's leaving. And I'm sad. Now who's going to make us one. sound smart with numbers? <laughs> it's not Stefan. I mean, I'm telling you, right? I mean, guys, pot com- shots to Stefan when he's not here. The guy's commitment level is just questionable at best. He's yeah, a, he's already missed he's two. He's a Leafs fan. This you is gotta, two you gotta, he's missed. You know, I've only been back for four. He's 50, shooting 50% right now. Dan and I are going to have to do shows on our own. Oh, yeah, God. that's going to be scary. We're going to be throwing those things are ones I'm too, Those are the ones I'm calling in for and being like, you guys fighting yet? <laughs> Throw some kindling on the How fire. How many holes in the wall? That's, yeah. that's when you guys bring guests in. That's, that's yeah. when. Oh, we're we're going gonna to just like, until I come back, the amount of guest stars you guys are going to have, it's going to be great. Tales I'm hoping Kenora I could bring hilarious. on uh, probably a Sens fan, definitely a Pens fan. Uh, there is nobody then, I can uh, gets under my skin faster than a Pens fan. N- no Canucks fans. Oh, you can I'm get not, a Canucks fan. I can get a Canucks fan, but I'm not ready for. Can Canucks we get fan. a he's non, too, he's can too get knowledgeable? A, can we get a non hockey fan? We might be able to get a non hockey fan. I'll see what I can do. Greg, do you want to sign us out? Because my you sign may out turn sucked. into a wrestling podcast when you're gone. So. Yeah. There might be a it, it, I mean, our name doubles for a wrestling term, last night. Yeah, seriously. How for many me. moves did you come up with? For, uh, like, Comerica? guys, we were RKOing at the lake. It was great. Yeah, I was showing him what, like, RKOs, and he was choke slamming me. Have you watched great. the RK out of nowhere videos with a little, like, animated Randy Orton that just runs around? It's like 16 minutes. And they, yes. like, dub into videos of people falling. <laughs> you guys, uh, I've, I great. didn't say I was going to tweet anything, but now I will tweet something, and it'll be a 16 minute video of RKOs. Because it's Fantastic. hilarious. Uh, did you guys see the basketball player? Uh, I can't remember what team he plays for, but he tried an RKO and just completely failed. Taking a guy into the pool and it just looked awful. No, I didn't. Oh, it was There's bad. a pretty funny video of a guy giving his girlfriend wrestling moves off a diving board into a swimming pool and they dub Jim Ross's commentary over it. Oh! oh my God, <laughs> my God there's human being in there! No! <laughs> it's hilarious. Um, yeah, so closing words I'm going to say are check out Twitter, Last Man in PC. Check out our email, lastmaninpc at gmail.com. Thanks, everyone, for the last 51 episodes. It's been great. Um, hopefully that when this podca- when I'm not here, the podcast can reach new heights um, because I've been holding it back. So, Yeah, right. Pretty, okay, uh, you're true. not getting pity party from this guy. Pity I- par- no, I'm just kidding. Titty no. party? <laughs> what? Titty party? No, I said pity party. Pity party. Hi, that's what I mean, anyway. Okay, bye, guys.